Good morning, guys. Welcome to Sunday, September 24th. And it's the first day of what we at work like to call Hell Week, which is usually the week of inventory because that falls on Tuesday. So, yeah, let's see what's going to go on today. Well, finally got home. It was business as usual at work today, but tomorrow that's when things start getting real. In the meantime, just came home, managed to knock out some more weeds. My fence, it's probably going to take another, it's probably going to take a little longer to do. But I've been sitting on four tubs full of weeds for like over a month now. A lot of it was because of the construction. But actually yesterday I officially started renovation as you can see here. Well, started my first project as far as renovating the house goes, repainting my front door. I only did like the outside of the door today. Probably tomorrow when I get home from work, I'll do the back. But right now I'm just going to leave this open for a bit so that way it can dry. Well, town, you better take it this time. Like I said, I've been sitting on these for over a month. I'm going to cook lasagna for dinner tonight, but unfortunately, it turned out I didn't have enough noodles. So, looks like I'm going to have burgers and fries tonight instead. And yes, that's the TV on. Well, right now, 60 Minutes is on because tonight I'm supposed to be watching that new Star Trek series. Because they're only showing the one episode. Might as well watch it and offer my thoughts on it. Well, in regards to the controversy surrounding the new Star Trek series, Star Trek Discovery, which premiered its only episode that you're going to see on CBS, the actual network, it's actually pretty good. There's still some elements that makes it look like Star Trek. Like, for example, it opens with the Klingons, even though they don't look like the Klingons, but they're actually speaking Klingon. But actually, we don't see the Discovery yet. It's the other ship that there was introduced. That's the one that Michelle Yeoh was commanding. But I don't see why people were up in arms about it, apart from having to pay money to see it on the streaming service. All right, don't get me wrong. Discovery is good, but I'm still not paying six bucks a month to watch it on a streaming service. It's probably cheaper to just wait for DVD, which is a shame because it's a good series and they should have aired it for free. But that being said... It's time for me to hit the rack because tomorrow I get to sleep in a little bit because I don't have to be into work till 11 o'clock in the morning, which is normally the time I go to lunch at work. That's when shit finally gets real. So anyway, have a good night. See you in the morning.